Hey y'all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And today was the maiden day of the Osprey V22 brought to you by Banana Hobby. Now I had a little bit of trials and tribulations on this one with the CEG, but I found out everything that likes to work. So just to go ahead and go through, this is already after the flight. So as you guys can see, I'm missing my front wheel. So we're going to go through some tips and tricks right now. First tip, when you guys put in your wheels, I would put some hot glue right here, just a little bit, just to keep it on. As you can see, I lost my nose wheel in flight, but I still brought her down unscathed. For transportation, I got these little Velcro loops, as you can see, and that keeps the motor. All I did was I went underneath the wing right there, came around, locked both of them. That way they're not flip flopping. As for CG, Right there, y'all. The back side of that servo where you see that black dot right there. I'll inlay a picture here. Now that CG works real well. I have a 4S2200 pulse battery right there slid to the front. Now one thing I noticed about this in hovering. When you're hovering, you can give her a little uh, up elevator back to keep her hover. She does not like a lot of back. If you do give her a lot of back pressure, she's gonna start doing a little teeter-totter because the EDF fan is literally shutting off so you can come to the back and they're coming on with the gyro to stabilize it on. So back flight with this, I would not recommend. Forward flight, no problem. Now by no means is this thing a quad copper and you're gonna zip around. It's a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing. It will put around. That's about it. Forward flight, everybody. When you flip that switch for these knuckles to come forward, don't give any stick input. You guys will see. The gyro takes care of everything. And this thing, it's actually pretty fun to fly. No trim. I did not have to trim this. I did a short flight because I was limited on batteries that I took out there. And I did a lot of CGing and stuff like that. And I actually got the flight in. So hopefully you all enjoy. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Noon's out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's no gains or anything. There's no. no it, it is what it is. Changing the ATVs on those doesn't adjust it at all. No, no. Uh, only, only thing that you get control of is when it goes into airplane mode. You can uh, do trims um, and rates, but when you come back and you land it in hover mode you got to get rid of your trims so i have mine on a um function yeah. switch you know what we're used to right yeah. um <laughs> where they tell people after you land it to mechanically take your trim out yeah. and i was just like well if you do this way it'd be okay so let's see what she does dude all right here we go v22 osprey Transitioning forward, now. Keeping the speed up. Definitely gotta keep the speed up in the turns. Little whippersnapper. All right, I don't know how much juice I have on this, guys, because I had to do some testing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out this way. I'm going to bring her around. I'm going to level her out and transition to hover flight. Hands are off the sticks. I'm just controlling her with throttle. And you can hear the EDF kick on. And let's bring her down. Giving her forward pressure. We're being very careful. 
There goes the twitch. I'm trying. I have to let go of the stick for it to not do that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looks like I lost my nose wheel. Good thing you don't need it. And there we go. Lost my nose wheel, fellas. Hopefully this came out in camera. My nose wheel could be there. It could be there. Who knows? We had a successful flight. Get some!